everybody, welcome. Uh, today we're going to make uh, these little tag note card booklets. Um, just using up my stash again, and I thought these were really, really um, just a great way to use these um, Tim Holtz photo cards. Um, if you don't have any of these, I mean, you could do this with any kind of digital image, or if you have some old um, vintage postcards, you could do that with this as well. But I've just, I've got these Tim Holtz photo cards, and I really just, they've just been sitting in a drawer, and, and I want to do something unique with them. So um, that's what we're going to do today. And it's a really, really simple tutorial, but I, I like sharing stuff that's, that's easy, um, fairly quick for you to create, and it really does add a lot to your journals. Um, and these would just make really great little um, craft fair items. Um, now, now mine, okay, well, we'll just go through it and then we can, we can talk about that. So what you're going to need is either a digital image that you like or um, a postcard or the photo cards. And then um, you're going to need a, a tag. If you've got your own framelits, go ahead and cut those in advance. If not, if you've got some shipping tags, I think this would work if it's, as long as it's large enough to, to hold these. Um, these are... Where's my ruler at? Oh boy, everything's buried here, guys. Um, I think they're about five by three, these are. So you need, you need something that's going to be large enough. So what I've done for the base of mine, and um, you can vary this, I'm using my ledger papers pack that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. So um, just going to get this out and get it cut down. Sorry, I know my camera is still not right. I'm hoping um, to get this sorted in the next week. But I'll just... Um, do the best I can with it here for you guys to see it. So um, first thing I'm going to do is just get this cut, um, cut down so that I can make a tag. I'm going to run this through the big shot really quickly. I really, really hope this is going to uh, fit for you guys. Hope everybody's having a good week. It's been very, very busy. A um, little bit of a cool down in weather, which is nice, so that's good. Can't believe we're almost into October. Uh, time is just gotten away from me again. Okay, so we've got our tag. We've got our um, photo card. The next thing we're going to need is just a mix of papers. Um, and depending, and this is where I, I was saying you could tweak this, because you could just have it all little notepad. Uh, sorry, um, coffee dyed or tea dyed paper if you want to just make it purely as a notepad, as you see, mine's got a mix of vintage music sheet, mint, you know, the old book pages, ledger paper. I've just done a real mix in mine. Um, so if you want to, just go ahead and get those cut. Now, what I've done with these, they're all, I measured these out at two and, and three quarters of an inch by four and three quarters of an inch. And then I put them back through my, um, corner rounder and rounded them so that they're going to coordinate nicely with this. You don't have to do that. It's just I just think it looks a little more finished off. And then the, <clears throat> the next thing I do is go ahead and put a stitch through this. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, I don't you could staple this and then just put you a little thin line of um you know, some Fabri-Tac along the top there and glue it to the back of this. So don't stress out if you don't have a sewing machine. 
But before I do that, I'm going to add some stitching around this just like I did on this one. So just two seconds and I'll be back. Okay, so here I've done some stitching around it. If you don't like that and you want to just leave it plain, obviously that's up to you. But I, I just think it adds a bit more detail. So I'm just going to run this very quickly through the machine. So there you go, I've got it stitched in, and now I've just got to, um, I, I always, I try to drop this down so that I allow enough room to put that, um, the lace I've chosen for this. This is some vintage, sorry I've got strings here, some vintage trim, because if I don't, it's going to cover her, and I have found, I've done that in the past here, and what I've had to do is flip that back up. Yeah, it was one of those um, boo-boos that we have, so just letting you know, just go ahead and bring that, I'd say about an eighth of an inch from the bottom, if you've got the same size tag. And then I'm just going to run that through, and then we're going to put some um, little embellishment on there, and, and that is going to be done, so just two seconds. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've attached the uh, the lace there. I did that a couple of stitches because I wanted it to go along the top of the notepad, and then I wanted to, you know, put a stitch across there. So now you can do some uh, distressing around. You could have done this be beforehand. You know how I am. I'm so mixed up. I do everything in reverse to what it should be, but. Just add a little bit of ink on there and uh, along the edges. If you wanted to round the corners of these, obviously, feel free to do that. It would make it a bit more finished, but I, I kind of like it that way. Um, but I thought these would be an awesome uh, craft fair idea. And then last night what I did while I was watching TV <coughs> is I just took various things. I've got lots of stuff that, um, you know, maybe I purchased that I thought, oh, actually, I don't know how I'm going to use that. This was a perfect example. These were really thick uh, doilies I ordered uh, off of eBay, which I should have known. Um, and they came in and they were so thick. So I've just cut those apart. And just last night while I was watching TV, I just took all my vintage buttons got loads of them and I just sat there and stitched these on. I've done quite a few. I've got an old bowl over here full of them um, just ready for future. Um, so anyways I think because it's a couple it might be nice to have a little heart one and I'm just going to take some Fabri-Tac and put that on there. This one was quite tricky because the center of that is open on that but that, I love the look of it. I just need a bigger button, I think. So I'm going to work on some more of those over the weekend, getting those um, taken apart off of this. Um, it was a doily, and I'm just taking that. I'm kind of dissecting it. <laughs> That's what we do as junk journal people, don't we? <laughs> we dissect things. So there you go. Um, put some lace on there, and we will call that done. Let's see if I can find something. Get my bag of trims out. I really have got to do some uh, some more trim up this weekend. I've run out of uh, a lot of my seam binding. Uh, let me see what I've got here that I can use. I don't have any brown or black. Brown or black would look nice, I think, but I don't have any crinkled at the moment, so 
Actually, you know what? I think I'll put, let me put some of this dark linen thread. That might help pull that together a little more. So yeah, I hope um, this gets you inspired to, to think, you know, there's, there's so many ways you could do this. Um, like I said, some really nice digital downloads. If you just cut them about five by three, they'll fit beautifully on these uh, large tags. This is a Tim Holtz um, tag die. So um, I'm sure any of them, you know, obviously just tweak it to the size that works for you. Cut that down. So there you go. And that is finished. It's a um, nice little notepad and lots of interest in that. I think that's really cute. I love how those have come out. So like I said, if you if you don't want to do the stitching, you could leave them plain, but just a, a quick another quick and easy um, idea for you to add to your journals. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys, and I will be back very soon with some more things to share. Have a great weekend. Bye.